Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to talk about the weather and how to deal with very cold temperatures. We're going to do this because large portions of the United States are about to experience very, very, very cold temperatures. Um, and given the state of infrastructure in a lot of states, some of this information is going to be needed. If you miss the news, there's an Arctic blast headed into the U.S. And it's going to come pretty far south. So, how cold and where? You are looking at temperatures at zero or below in parts of Texas, Oklahoma, and Arkansas. If you are north of that, it's going to be even colder. Um, so, you, you will see temperatures in the negatives. If you're in the deep south, you're still looking at single digits or teens. And given the fact that most of us put on a hoodie at 60 degrees, it, it might be worth brushing up on some things to remember. First things first, if you uh, work at a diner, a restaurant, a grocery store, convenience store, something like that, and during this period of very cold weather, Somebody comes in and they're, they're just kind of hanging out. Maybe they get one cup of coffee and they've been sitting there for hours, something along those lines, and they don't look like they have a place to go, meaning they don't have a house, they don't have somewhere to go to be warm. If you see somebody like that, no, you didn't. You don't want to be uh, the person who sends somebody out into the elements and then them not make it. These temperatures are life-threatening. Okay, remember your pets. Remember to check on your elders and young people. They're the most susceptible. Okay, if you lose power um, and you are facing incredibly cold temperatures and you, you haven't dealt with it before, something that uh, has proven useful in the past, because this is apparently still not an issue we've fixed, um, take a... Uh, Take a dining room table, if you don't have a tent, take a dining room table into an interior room, a small one, the smaller the better. Set it up, and if you're using a tent, pile clothes, they can be dirty clothes, it doesn't matter. Up on the tent, create a bunch of insulation. Everybody hangs out in there. The body heat will uh, keep it a little bit warmer. And if you sill off that room, it is easier to keep a smaller area warm than it is a larger area. If you don't have power, this is incredibly useful. You don't have a tent, take your dining room table or some other table into that room and build a pillow fort. Same thing. Seal it up. Dirty clothes, tarps, blankets, whatever you have. And everybody hang out in there. And that will help keep uh, keep the temperature up a little bit. It'll give you a few degrees, and those few degrees are going to matter. Um, obviously, normal reminders, don't burn things in your home, don't run a generator in your home, stuff like that. Um, if you are at the point where you have to heat things up to radiate heat, get... Uh, Get bundled up, go outside, do the fire there, bring whatever it is in, and do it safely. You don't want to have a fire on top of, you know, you don't want to catch your house on fire on top of everything else. Um, and remember, if you are heating stuff up to radiate heat, make sure you keep your pets and little ones away from it because it's something new and they're going to want to check it out. You don't want to deal with the burns either. So... The uh, length of time is going to be a few days. It looks like the worst of it is going to hit uh, the middle of the country over the weekend, and then it's going to kind of move east. So uh, just check the weather and make any preparations that you can. Check on those people that might need to be checked on. Um, and, and just be aware these the temperatures that are, are going to be reached, they're no joke. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.